today on Running to Him. We must speak boldly about and act on the spiritual war we are fighting. Today's reading is 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 8, and we will concentrate on verses 2 through 4. 2 Corinthians 10, 2 through 4 says, I beg you that when you come, I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be towards some who think that they we live by the standards of the world. For we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons that we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have a divine power to demolish strongholds. Now the Russian-Ukrainian war is well into its third week. The Russians find their defensive goals very difficult to obtain, and the Ukrainians find their defense stronger than prophesied. While I generally don't like to place modern stories in application to biblical truth, I will in this case. Paul tells the Corinthian church that the battle we wage is with power greater than our own. Therefore, we must battle those forces with our divine weapons rather than our human ones. Like the Ukrainians, our enemy is strong, determined, and willing to destroy anything it gets in its way, including the defenseless non-combatants. But we must make our stand, not through our power, but through calling on the power greater than ours, God's power to demolish the enemy. The Ukrainians are calling on powers greater than theirs to help defeat their invading enemy. We should think of our lives as the Ukrainians do. We were once aligned with the enemy. Before we came into a relationship with Christ, we spoke the enemy's language. We willingly did his deeds, and our thoughts were safe and prosperous, we thought. But when we broke away from our enemy, he began making plans to get us back. We are waging war on all sides of our life the spiritual and the physical. The enemy captures some territory every now and then, and at times we retreat instead of using the weapons at our disposal. But the enemy seems overwhelming, and he gains ground. But then our ally reminds us that we have the weapons that can defeat the enemy if we will only use them correctly. We have the Holy Spirit. We have prayer. We have those around us who can come to our defense if we just call. And so for a moment, we strike using the tools God gave us, and the enemy runs in defeat. But then for some reason we stop. We don't pursue the enemy. We see that he left our backyard, and we put down our weapons and claim victory. But that victory is short-lived because the enemy is readily replacing forces, preparing to strike again. So we must prepare our defenses, keep battle ready, and fight with everything God gives us. The Civil Air Patrol's motto is Semper Vigilance, Always Vigilant. We should take that model for our own. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at Phineas Jacobus at runningtohim.net.